गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन वर टू डेज टॉपिक इज दैट इज क्वालिटी कंट्रोल बिफोर दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वट इज क्वालिटी प्लानिंग एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ क्वालिटी अश्योरेंस एंड अवर थर्ड प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक इज दैट इज क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अगेन इनपुट टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स एंड आउटपुट दैट इज प्रोड्यूस बाय क्वालिटी कंट्रोल दिस इज अवर लास्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ अवर सिलेबस एंड अ लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ अवर सिलेबस दैट इंक्लूड अ क्वालिटी कंट्रोल सी in this topic a quality control involves a monitoring specific project result into result to determine if they comply with relevant standards and identifying the ways to eliminate cause of unsatisfactory result means uh, what is quality control a name suggests that we have to control the quality how we control the quality with it involves a monitoring a specific project result it will monitor the result of the project to determine that if they comply with the relevant standard they, if they uh, uh, comply with the relevant standard and identifying the way to eliminate if any cause is there then so with the quality control is manageable means if any type of causes are there they, uh, they these causes are controlled by a quality control mechanism so the project result mentioned include there are two types of result first one is product result and second one is management result i added this for two numbers two words a product result such as a deliverable or management result such as a cost and schedule performance then on the basis of these two result we can control the quality also and a quality control is often performed by a quality control department a quality control department is there that control the quality uh, parameters of our products so the project management team should have a working knowledge of statistical quality control especially sampling and probably to help evaluate a control output they know the how to control a quality the various mechanism that is adopted for quality controlling the project management team has a good knowledge for that this is the main uh, reason for quality control next we will discuss the project management that should be aware of the following among the subject they have while controlling a quality of the product they have the following Uh, subject they have to be aware about this that is uh, first of all is that is prevention but that is prevention means keeping error out of the process if any error they prevent the error our system uh, from the error and uh, next one is inspection that keeping error out of the customer hand means we inspect that if any error is then then uh, here and we have to remove this before, before submitting the product to a customer and next one is that is attribute sampling or uh, this is a conformity of the result we will sample that ki we uh, sampling is done here we will check the samples and on the basis of checking sample we will uh, control the quality variable sampling is there the, there the result are rated as a continuous scale and measure the degree of conformity of non conformity is this is a conformable product or not if not conformable then we have to vary the product and again uh, check for conformity and the special causes that is unusual event the unusual event that occur on our system is that is controlled by a special Course. a random course the normal process variation if any variation is there if any running error is there random error is there this is controlled by this one and a tolerance is a where result should fall with the defined tolerance range if this is a particular range of tolerance up to this range we can tolerate the causes if uh, this range is exceed then we will con tolerate the uh, causes here and a control limit the process is control if it fall with the these defined limits so the uh, control limits are the again a tolerance limit uh, for a uh, quality control if we tolerate about this location so this is a control line control limits of this so this is some basics awareing about uh, how project management team to control a quality so let's discuss again a three parameters on the basis of we control the flow chart is here quality control flow chart is here that is inputs tools and technique and output in input we will discuss about and uh, work results uh, quality management plans operational definitions and checklist or in the tools and technique we will discuss about inspections control charts pareto uh, diagrams statistical sampling flow charting trend analysis again are used for a quality control parameter and output we will discuss about quality improvements acceptance decisions and uh, rework process adjustments on the basis of this we will uh, define these output mechanisms so let's discuss first so the first is that is inputs and we have the quality inputs control is handled by three four types of input first one is a work results that include both the product results and the process results means on the basis of results that will computed while uh, executing any product execution is here the, uh, the software development is here after execution of product that is built on the basis of the work that is built on the basis of the we can control the quality of the system and next one is that is the quality management plan 
quality management planning is the uh, previous execution stage that is quality uh, planning stage is there uh, this stage input uh, values are used as a control input here and operational definitions operation definition is based on the definition of the operation ki how this will be operatable how this product is using how the manufacturing is operatable or we control on the operation of the development phase to improve the quality control and checklist is again we make a checklist that while developing operationing the activity quality control will uh, make a checklist of that and tick out the various processes that are already uh, done or with the quality improvement and next one is that is tools and techniques tools and techniques for quality control include a first is that is uh, tools is used that is inspection tool we can um, uh, check the quality control the quality with the help of inspection like we inspection include activities such as measuring examining the testing undertaken to determine whether the result confirm to requirement or not inspection can be carried out on the level of single activity or final product or we can say the inspection can be called review product or review audit and walk through this so we can inspect with the help of these parameters to inspect the why we inspecting we can control the quality also or second one is that is control chart a control chart these are the graphical representations that display the result of processes over time and are used to determine if the process is controllable or not we can design a control chart here or, or uh, any type of control statements are there and we design this chart and on the basis of this chart we can check the quality control when a control the process should not be adjusted so it may uh, it may be changed in order to provide the improvement the second point is uh, uh, clearly says that if any changes is there required we can change it and provide the improvement by, to improve the quality so the control chart may be used to for monitor any type of output variables also the output variable that is generated by a quality control are also monitored by a control chart a control chart are most often used to monitor repetitive activities that is used in production but can also be used to monitor cost and schedule variance that are adopted by this one so this is a main uh, control chart is used and next after that control chart we use also a pareto diagrams uh, what is pareto diagram pareto diagram are all are the histograms that are order for frequency of occurrence which shows how many result were generated by what category identified causes means we will show with the help of histogram that this at this level this type of product occurrence is there this type of frequencies are occur is there and many result are generated here on the basis of their category identify any causes if at this level this cause is there at this level this cause is there with the help of this histogram diagram in the frequency flow diagram we can define the quality control parameter and the project management team should take action to fix the problem that are causing a greatest number defect so with the help of histogram we that at this level of um, very much causes are there so this project management team will check this point and control the cause at that level and typically pareto diagram reflect the relatively small number of causes are responsible for or the majority of the problem or defect so this is also controlled by pareto diagram so next we will discuss a tool that is a statistical sampling a sampling tool is there this sampling tool involves the choosing a part of the population of interest of the inspection by inspecting a product we we can check the population of interest of the system or we can control our system also the quality controlling also there means by appropriating sampling and factor reduce the cost of quality control also if the if some of the product are not very much uh, uh, appropriate or we can uh, not, not very much popular in a population or interest not interested of population is very much there so with the product is not very much higher or we can control the productivity or we can control the number of counts that a product will be delivered to the user so the sampling quality control is improving so there is a vast body of knowledge related to statistical sampling therefore the management must be aware that various sampling techniques are there on the basis of these techniques we will calculate the sampling technique so next is the trend analysis a trend analysis again a uh, improvement in st statistical sampling in this and involves the use of mathematical technique to forecast future outcome based on the historical result it is often used for to monitor I mean, on the basis of historical improvement we can see that ki what is trends nowadays on the basis of nowadays trends the quality is improved user requirement nowadays user trend nowadays and uh, technology trend nowadays on the basis of these we will deliver a product or we can make a product qualitative or this control mechanism is adopted here and the technical performance like how many defect may be identified how many remain uncorrected this is calculated here cost and schedule performance calculated here, like how many activities in a certain period were completed with significant variances this is also done with them 
so uh, these are all about the tools and let's uh, we will discuss about the output for quality control output for quality improvement may be done with the help of these three parameter first one is quality improvement that is previously described already that in a quality pen learning or in the quality assurance parameter we describe this we will we can improve the quality also quality control also improve the quality if we control the quality of the software production so all uh, also a uh, quality improvement is also done so the acceptance is a, so if we control the quality we can assure the quality and we can plan a good quality software so the acceptance is also a output generation is here the user can accept it and where the inspection item will be either accepted or rejected and those rejected will be reworked if the item are rejected by any customer this can be reworked on them and we can again make them uh, or advanceable or improve the quality of the system or rework means which is an action taken to bring defect or unconforming item into compliance with requirement and specification and rework is frequently cause of project overrun and project management team must take the effort to minimize it means uh, rework is again a reworking means a reengineering is there reproduction is here uh, by reproduction means we will reproduct a system with the help of a uh, user feedback or user requirement identification and we can uh, add it it in this and requirement specification are again changes according to user requirement and then product is delivered to the project and next one is a completed checklist and then which means we will uh, after the tool that checklist tool is there after checklist tool is identified we will have a complete checklist that okay, this product is uh, qualitative check the control on these parameters that are identified already and a process adjustment is there they which involve a immediate corrective and preventive action as a result of quality control measurement in some cases the adjustment may need to be handled according to procedure or overall changes control so the process adjustment is there we had adjust the processes which is required first and which is required next one is on the basis of quality parameter we adjust this parameter so this is all about uh quality parameters that these are better used in this that's the quality control mechanism we have we have three better para flow charting is there to control the quality input tool and technique and output on the basis of these we will control the quality of our system so in this session we will discuss this uh, quality control so we conclude our ppt on the uh, in our next section with the help of we first of all next section we will discuss about a process quality management technique what is process quality management process, uh, a brief i will discuss today process quality management is a combination of quality planning a quality assurance a quality control we will discuss in the next tutorial so you hope so you all enjoy it if you have any doubt any query you can comment me out on my youtube channel or you can whatsapp me personally uh, so go through these ppts very well thank you guys have a nice day